Hello, good morning. It's uh, Rio Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Thursday, the 15th of March 2018. Please be sure to visit Trades in England, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at www.tradesignal.com. So you download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay. Uh, in terms of um, European markets this week, certainly have been quite volatile. Uh, it certainly seems like trade tariffs, protectionism, uh, the individual Mr. Rex Tillerson, Mr. Cohn, and now we've got my Larry Kudlow on uh, back back on the helm now. Interesting scenario, certainly a lot of uh, political changes, a lot of uh, policy changes, uh, certainly the same old sort of whirlwind politics, uh, crazy politics from uh, the US at the moment. So again, creating risk of uh, a risk aversion. Now, te tech sector certainly has been under pressure as well. Asian markets overnight certainly seem, seem to have uh, certainly moved lower and, and certainly pushed off the lows. But having said that, uh, European US equities certainly uh, in, in indicating risk off or certainly experiencing risk off with the FTSE 100 touching 7100 overnight. OK, let's see exactly where we're headed and where this market is certainly uh, projecting in the next potential move. OK, so German DAX at the moment certainly seems to uh, be retesting those lows back at 12,180. So let's see if we can uh, uh, certainly hold. OK, uh, do we test 12,050 and lower? We'll certainly find out. In terms of the euro, we're currently trading around 12,360. So keep an eye on that euro. New Zealand GDP number certainly came in weak and overnight. Chinese GDP, Chinese data failed to uh, keep the FTSE afloat. OK, in terms of the daily chart, German DAX, let's see where we're positioned now. Again, you've got a bearish engulfing candle. Now, the question is this, and keep an eye on this pattern. You've got a left shoulder, head is there. OK, are we creating this inverted head and shoulders formation? So that's the question. OK, are we going to reverse and move higher? That's the question on the daily chart. So keep an, keep an eye on that pattern. 60-minute chart, again, you do have support at 12.180, so watch out there. In terms of support below at 12.030 as well. Again, it's all about can we make that right shoulder. So... From my perspective, what I would be doing is taking the pivot low from here, taking it to this high. Let's see if we can hold Fib 60, 175. If we hold that, then my buy certainly would turn to bullish. Okay. In terms of the French CAC, let's see exactly where we're trading here. A daily chart at the moment. Again, same type of pattern, although not as, as strong as the German DAX. So keep an eye on that. Okay. Let's see exactly how that unfolds. I mean, the left shoulder here really is virtually non existent. So from my perspective, it's more of a double bottom and then a higher low. Okay. So uh, I'd certainly, I mean, I certainly already have us connecting these lows together here. Again, let's see if we can create a higher low. And then push toward the higher high. 60 minute chart at the moment, you've got the FIB 50% certainly holding. Let's see if that can hold. If that fails, then obviously we go back lower and retest the support below. So watch out below. 10 minute chart of the uh, French gap. Again, we did put a double bottom in yesterday. So let's see if we can hold that double bottom. If that fails to uh, hold, then again, you're certainly pushing more so certainly weaker on the uh, on the French gap the, the price action overall in terms of the FTSE 100 again you've got a double bottom below at 5 or 7 125 let's see if we can hold that if we fail to hold that then we certainly are moving lower than you are looking to test support at 7 110 and then test support at 7 0 70 as well so watch out for those two potential support zones below daily chart on the, uh, the FTSE 100 again you're in this zone here Okay, let's see exactly if we can hold that door bottom at 7075 or do we retest that level again on the back of tariff concerns and obviously protectionism as well. So let's see how this unfolds. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus and be sure to visit TradeSignal, download the latest app. Goodbye.